so for this one so fx is equal to x square so x is in between negative 1 to 2 so on the same plane sketch the graph of f and f inverse then find the domain and range of f inverse so we know here so x is in between negative 1 to 2 so f negative 1 is equal to this one is x cube sorry is equal to negative 1 cube which is equal to negative 1 f0 is equal to 0 cube is equal to 0 f1 is equal to 1 cube which is equal to 1 and f2 is equal to 2 cube which is equal to 8 so we have this one point this point is negative 1 negative 1 cube is negative 1 is negative 1 so we have 0 0 we have 1 1 and we have 2 8 so for far f inverse x so that means it is the opposite of this one so we will have the point is negative 1 negative 1 negative 1 negative 1 0 0 0 0 and then this one is 1 1 and here is 8 2 so you see here if you want to plot the graph so we will have negative 1 0 1 2 and then here we will have see the highest is 8 and 1 so we have negative 1 1 and 8 okay, lah. 8 might be quite okay maybe this one is 8 lah right so negative 1 negative 1 should be here and then we have 0 0 and then we have 1 1 this one is for fx and then we have 2 8 2 8 okay maybe something around here so we have something like this okay this one is fx All right for, for f inverse okay i change the color so we will have So we will have negative 1, negative 1, which is negative 1, negative 1. And then we have 0, 0 as well. And then we have 1, 1. And then we have 8, 2. So 8 and 2. Okay, maybe here. So we we'll get something like this. Right? So, so maybe fx something like a bit shape. So we have... 2, 8. This one is, the second one is F inverse X. So, domain and range of F inverse. So, domain X, as you can see, is in between negative 1. This is negative 1 to 8. And then, for the do, for the range, range, you see the, the lowest is here, negative 1. See, negative 1. And the highest is here, which is 2. 